Uh, hi, this is Mike with Better Stronger Faster Fitness and this is Christy. And today we're gonna talk about push-up progressions. Uh, a lot of people, if they can't do a standard push-up on the floor with uh, their feet elevated, will try to do push-ups on their knees. And the problem with this is that it changes the angle of your body and it doesn't really give you a good song, uh, solid plank or a lever arm. Um, an option to change that and to get a better push-up is to elevate your hands. And so today, Christy and I are gonna show you uh, the push-up progression with an elevated surface. Uh, we're gonna start uh, with a fairly high surface here. Christy's gonna go ahead and knock out a few push-ups. Go ahead and give me five right there. And you can see here she's got her body nice and straight. She's got a, a plank from her uh, torso all the way down to her ankles is one nice solid line and she's pushing with her hands. Since Christy made those so easy, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this down another notch and put more of her own body weight on the bar and that will make the push-up a little bit harder. I want you to go ahead and not grab the bar around there, but put your hand there like that and get your shoulders in a nice packed position. Body is nice and straight again, you'll see. And she's gonna go ahead and knock out five of those for me, please. One, nice and deep. Two, chest is up high. Three, and there's five, great work. Um, the next step is to go ahead and lower the bar uh, even more. Um, this piece of equipment doesn't go any lower, so we're just gonna go ahead and have Christy do the next set of push-ups on the floor. Uh, I want three really, really beautiful push-ups. Once again, you'll see she gets into a plank position first. She gets her shoulders packed and then uses her arms to drive herself up. Keeps that core nice and tight. She gets really deep. Great job, Christy. And there's number three, great work. Um, Again, uh, you wanna start with the bar at an elevated height. You can also use a desk or a tabletop. Uh, you can use a piece of furniture around your house or a bench. Um, you can then lower the bar to another, another lower spot to make things a little bit easier and then you can progress all the way down to a step or the floor. There's also a commonly called girl push-ups, which uh, are a modification for a push-up that are not really a very good training tool, but we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate that now. Christy, if you can go ahead and do one of those modified push-ups on the floor. Um, this is commonly what you'll see with uh, people, go ahead and give me 10 of those, please. Uh, what you'll see with people in gyms that can't do push-ups is they'll get on their knees and they'll knock out push-ups this way. And the problem with these is that you're not getting that nice solid plank. Um, most of the time when people have push-ups uh, challenges, it's because they don't have a good core control. And so uh, what you're doing here is you're giving yourself an even shorter lever arm and even less challenge on the core. Um, you're not getting a good workout this way and I don't feel like it's a good use of your time. And that's why we want to take the push-up and elevate it to uh, make the push-up actually happen with the proper angles. 